Hello YouTube, I'm Music Kev, and this is Music Kev Plays. This is Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds, and I will be playing it on Hero Modes since I've already beaten it on Normal Mode. First I need to rename my character as Music Kev since that's who I am. It's always funny to try to name your character something that would turn up interesting in conversations, but we're going to keep it simple for this playthrough. I won't talk through cutscenes. Hey, music Kev. Huh, still sleeping. Wake up. Not a Legend of Zelda game unless you wake up from at the beginning. Come on, how long do you expect to sleep, music Kev? Do I have to wake you up every morning? I have chores to do. I'll be waiting outside, so get up and let's get going. Papa was really angry. He said that you can't be a blacksmith if you don't get up at the crack of dawn. So for those of you who don't know, Legend of Zelda, Link Between Worlds, is kind of a sequel or a reimagining of Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Wake up in your room, and you're going to see here similar things in a second. Yes, that's Majora's Mask. No, that's not this game. Papa is steaming mad that you're late again. Come on, let's get to his shop. Oh, almost forgot. Don't forget to check in here. What do you mean, where? The thing that's obviously off my screen. With the weather vane here. Always give that a spin when you pass by. That'll let you save. Papa says you should always do that. Hmm. Not real sure what saving is. I'm just a kid. No one tells me anything. Anyway, I'm going to run on ahead. Catch up after you spin that vane, Music Kev. Now, it's always a good thing to save, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, if those of you who played Link's Awakening would know that the original game started with it raining. And you following your uncle into the castle that was being invaded by these soldiers. It starts out a little bit more lighthearted here. It's daylight. You're following this little kid who's your cousin. I'm not entirely sure what the relationship is there, but we'll get to that in a minute. You'd better head inside. My papa's waiting, Music Kev. Note how it's his papa and not Link's. I don't think there's been a Legend of Zelda game where Link has a dad. Alright, so tell me, how's that shield suit you, Captain? Superb work as always, but I expect nothing less from a master. I do what I can, Captain. It also helps that I have a good source of ore. That shield's tougher than any ever now. I wouldn't trust my gear with anyone else. Not, No one can bring out the best of a sword quite like you. So, if you'll excuse me, it's time that I forge ahead. Busy day. And there we have that weird-looking Captain. Oh, who's this? Well, well, if it isn't Music Kev. Slept in late again? You sure you're cut out to be a blacksmith? It's not my business to say, but you better mend your ways, lad. There's no future in being a layabout. Late again. Well, come on, get over here. Time to get to work, Music Kev. Oh my! The captain left without taking his new sword. What? He's gone off unarmed? L Lucky you. Instead of getting an earful, you've got an errand, Music Kev. Take that sword and hurry after the captain. 
And now I have a sword. Except I can't use it. Hurry, run after the captain. What now? Don't know where to go? Where else? He's got to be headed back to Hyrule Castle. You still groggy? Fine, look, I marked it on your map, so get a move on. That's one advantage to having two screens, is that a lot of the item information and stuff can fall on the bottom screen. So there I have a big giant X, and that's where I'm headed, because I can't really do much else because I don't have a sword. I'm going to take this bush with me. Morning, Music Kev. What brings you here so early? Delivery for the captain? He's not at the castle. I know he was headed to your master's shop. Oh, you bumped into him there? Well, I know he was planning on visiting the sanctuary. He probably got hung up there. I hope he comes back soon. We've had an outbreak of vandalism <coughs> all over the walls. Paintings everywhere. Anyway, if you need to find him, I'd say head north of the castle. That's where the sanctuary is. That way is the shortcut. So now I'm heading to the next big red X. And here you can see our lovely vandalism. Looks like a soldier. I wonder why. That's not the way to go. That's not the way to go. I was right the first time. And I can't pick up rocks. You gotta love the music. Look who's here. Welcome to the Sanctuary Music, Kev. Eager as ever, aren't you? Is there something I can help you with? I see, I see. You're looking for the captain. Well, you're at the right place. He's come to see my father. The captain forgot his sword? Oh, how unlike him to be so careless. Just a moment. I'll fetch him for you. Coming and going, going and coming. The captain stops by here more than anyone. You think he wants to yak with a priest? No, sir. Just making excuses to see Ceres is there. She hasn't got a clue either, but I suppose that's what's lovely about Ceres. Clear free as a bird, but old Dombay sees more than people think. Like these paintings on the walls this morning? There's trouble, Brew. <coughs> what's happening in there? The doors are shut tight. Can't get them open. What can we do? That was Ceres is crying out. Dompe doesn't have a key. Dompe just give, digs the graves around. Wait, Dompe remembers. Dompe once heard the priest talking about a secret way into the sanctuary, hidden right in my graveyard. Bad luck, Dompe thinks messing with graves. Worse luck going under the ground. But you, you do it. If you get scared, just swing your sword around. I'm scared. Forget that. Get to swinging that sword. But I can't. What? Saving Ceres is more important than some delivery. You're using the sword, even if Dompe has to tie it to your hand. Okay, fine. I finally got the sword. So to speak. Use that sword if you run into trouble. Dompe would help, but these old bones are falling apart as is. So go find the secret passage. It's got to be hidden somewhere in the graveyard. And before we go, we're going to spin this weather vane. And do a save. I'm going to play a little bit further today. Normally these episodes will go about 10 minutes. But I'll go a little bit further today so we can get into the story proper. And it's a ruby. And it's a dead body. And it's another dead body. Grave robbing. One of the more interesting pastimes of Link. Should probably stop messing around and actually get to the one where it is. You can always explore the graveyard later. So this kind of replaces the castle sewers. And of course, we need a lovely lamp. So that's how this game also is different. 
in the first one, Link's linked to the past, uh, Link gets the lamp from his house and then the sword whenever he finds his dead uncle. In this one, the sword comes to you first and then the lamp. I mean, there's going to be a lot of differences like that, as this is more of a reimagining than anything else. But you'll see as they go on. There's a heart piece there that I can't get to, and there's a treasure chest. Huh, I found some rubies. And there's a couple ropes. I'm going to kill them. Yes, they're ropes. That's the official name for those, obviously, snakes. Holy crap, that rat did two hearts of damage. This is why hero mode is harder. I cannot afford to be as uh, hasty as I usually am. And there's the first small key of the game. I'm sure there's going to be plenty more of the, where that came from. Once we get into the real dungeons, this really isn't... This is more of an introduction to dungeons than anything else. This is a defeat all enemies room, and I've already died. Huh. That didn't happen last time I recorded this. Yeah, the first one got lost. And now I'm back in my house. Luckily, I know exactly where I'm going, so... You know what? Like I said, I don't want to make this episode too long. So we'll come back next time, and I'm going to suck less, hopefully. Until then, this is Legend of Zelda, Link Between Worlds.